Hi folks, in this episode, we're going to take a look at the different workouts that you can do in order to work out your deltoid muscle group, which are your shoulders. And we're also going to teach you how to do these three workouts in a safe and proper manner. Without doubt, the shoulder is one of the muscle groups that are commonly done by a lot of people besides the chest and the abs. And there are a lot of different workouts out there. But today, we are going to look at those stations that are commonly done and are basically enough for beginners. The first station we are going to look at is the Olympic Bar Seated Shoulder Press. And before I start doing this station, there are a few things for you to take note. Make sure your bar is at a comfortable height. It's neither too high or too low. Secondly, make sure your bench is upright and it's not too far out away from the bar itself. Okay? The third thing for you to take note is you are doing the weights that are within your capabilities. Even if you are going for one repetition at your maximum weight, you should be able to do it at your own strength without getting any support from your spotter. Fourthly, you should have a spotter for this station, at least one spotter for this station. Okay? And fifth, if you have safety bars or safety collars provided, please use them for your safety concerns. Okay, so let us now take a look at how to do this station. First of all, you will grip the bar evenly from the center, just like this. You can use the marking on the bar as a gauge to grip the bar. Next, once you are comfortable with this grip, you will lift the bar off the rack and bring it forward. Okay, and this will be your starting position with your arm fully extended. Remember not to lock your hyper extend your elbows. Okay, and this position once you are comfortable with, you are ready to start your shoulder press. You will start to bring the bar down at least up to your chin level and bring it back up okay if you are unable to bring it down to your chin level okay what you can do is at least you can bring it down up to a 90 degrees fold of your arm once you are there you can bring the bar back up okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is your breathing technique when you are bringing the bar down you inhale and when you are exerting strength to bring the bar up you exhale so as you go down you inhale you bring it up, you exhale. The next thing you're going to take a look at is the role of the spotter. As a spotter, you should be alert at all times. Be the person is really very strong and doing a very lightweight, it doesn't matter. As a spotter, you should be aware of what's happening to him and the environment around him as well. Just in case someone walks into his bar and knocks the bar over, he will get injured. So as a spotter, you should be alert at all times. So for this station, how are we going to spot? First of all, you will take up a stable position behind the bench. Next, you will place your hands underneath the elbow without touching it first. As a spotter, you will just follow through the motion until the person needs the assistance. Just like this. Always remember to keep your back straight as a spotter and squat down along with the person who is doing this station. Only when a person needs the assistance, you grab onto his elbow and help him bring it down or push the bar up. Okay? That's the role of a spotter in this situation. And once you are done doing your repetition, you will safely put back the bar onto a rack and step away from the bench. So folks, this is how you do it. Olympic bar seated shoulder press. Okay? But let's say in your gym or in your private gym or your public gym, you do not have an Olympic bar. Okay, what you can use is the Smith machine that they provide. Okay, the same principle applies for a Smith machine. So just apply what you have learned from this station in the Smith machine seated shoulder press.